Hi, how are you? Matt Watson here from CarWow. So I'm sat in a BMW 735i from 2001. In front of me is a Lexus LS430 from 2000. And in front of that is a Mercedes-Benz S320 CDI from 2001. And each of these cars cost £1,000 each. What am I gonna do? Well, I'm gonna compare these cars in a selection of off-road challenges to see which is best. Why? Well, because if you want to go off-road in luxury, you don't need to spend £100,000 on a new Range Rover. You can spend £1,000 on one of these cars. Well, that's the idea anyway. The reason being that there is no car better off-road than one that you don't care about damaging, and I don't care about damaging these £1,000 cars. Anyway, if you like these kind of videos, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon to turn your notifications on. That way you won't miss any of these wacky uploads. Anyway, let's get on with it. Buy, sell, car, wow. Now the first challenge we're going to do is an uphill race. We're going to drive in convoy and we're going to see which of these cars gets up this hill the best. And we've got an off-road expert, Graham, who will be marking each of the cars. And the car that wins a challenge gets three points. The one that comes second gets two points and the one that comes last gets one point. And if any car doesn't finish a challenge, it will get no points. This first one is all about power and traction. So each of these cars are rear wheel drive. They've all got automatic gearboxes. The Lexus and the Mercedes have a five speed auto. This has a six speed auto. This BMW has a 3.6 liter naturally aspirated V8 with 270 horsepower. That Lexus has a 4.3 liter V8 with 280 horsepower. And that Mercedes has a 3.2 liter straight six diesel with 200 horsepower. Let's see what happens. I'm in drive and I've got, um, brake drive fault. I've got, I've got a fault already. So I've got a, a brake fault on this car. Does it matter? No, it's fine. It's just part of the car. I'm sure it's okay and that we've done the risk assessment on this. Brakes do seem kind of important, but what the heck. Let's race. Three, two, one. Come on. Oh, bottomed out. I can't believe they all made it up. Let's find out which car Graham think went up there the best. Graham! That's how you call a Graham in the wild. Right then, Graham. How are we doing? How are you going to score these cars? Which went up the best? Uh, well, the one that went up with the least wheel spring was the Lexus. This second, Mert last. Yeah. But I was quicker than the Lexus. You were quicker, but you were wheel spinning all over everywhere. That had put its weight there, drive down better. But I was quicker. You were quicker. And it looked the best. Three points to the Lexus, two points to the BMW, and one point to the Mercedes. Okay, this next challenge tests the car's traction and ground clearance. So we're going to drive a little route through the woods, which involves going through a hairpin and back on ourselves. And we're going to see which car managed to keep moving along steadily the best. Graham will be marking them for their overall performance. Let's do it. Let's see what we can do here. Who will get stuck first? <laughs> I can see the chassis articulation in that Lexus. It's so funny. <laughs> oh, it's bottomed out straight away. <laughs> I can follow their path. Need to get this bank here and straddle. Uh, I can't get up there. Come on. Oh, I'm scratching my beautiful paintwork here. Oh, can't keep moving, otherwise I'm going to get stuck. Come on. I don't want to be marked down because they're just too slow. This is actually doing quite well. Now, we can see how manoeuvrable these big limousines are, trying to get around this hairpin. Lexus did all right. Let's get some power to go up here. Oh, I can just drop down here. Oh, oh, oh. This is going to be the hardest bit. The turning circle on this didn't seem quite as good as the Lexus. Oh, the Lexus made it through there dead easy. Oh, look at this. Luxury off-roading on the cheap. <sighs> Let's find out which did the best. Graham? So, what do you think of that? That was easy. Was very close, but I would say the Beamer edged that. Really? Because you had a better line going along there. The Mert was second. Okay. 
Lexus sliding all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> right, so three points for the BMW, two for the Mercedes, and one for the Lexus. So that means the BMW is in the lead overall so far with five points in total, then the Lexus with four, and then the Mercedes with three. Okay, so I've jumped into the Lexus for our next challenge, which is gonna test the car's ground clearance and their pulling power. So we're gonna drive them at two steep slopes and we'll see how well they do with pulling themselves up the slope and getting over the top without grounding out. This Lexus has 417 newton meters of torque. The BMW has the least at 360 newton meters of torque, but the Mercedes has the most with 470 newton meters. As for their ground clearance, I have no idea. We're gonna find out now. Here we go, BMW is heading up the slope. No problem at all, it's gonna ground out. Mercedes flew up there as well. Don't want to ground up my nose, so I'm just going to ease up here. Nice and gentle, loads of traction. Ah, oh, easy peasy. Oop, a little bit of groundage. Oh, we don't roll it here. Oh, no, easy does it. Nice holding onto this wooden steering wheel while cruising in utter luxury off-road. Got to say, the suspension on this is absolute. Oh. oh, excuse me. As I was saying, the suspension is absolutely lovely until the car bottoms out and then things are quite abrupt and brutal. Anyway, that, that was all right, I guess. Let's find out what Graham thought. Right, and Graham, what do you think? Okay, so, Mercedes first. Okay, right. Lexus second, BMW third. Okay, and why, me. why though? Mercedes better over the ground. This one only bottomed out twice. BMW all over the place. All right, so that's three points to the Mercedes, two to the Lexus, and one to the BMW, which means that the total scores now are six points each. It's level pegging after round three. Okay, this next challenge is gonna compare the car's chassis articulation and their suspension travel. This Lexus and the Mercedes both have air springs and it's height adjustable, so obviously we've got them in their highest setting. The BMW is on normal core springs, though it does have adaptive hydraulic dampers, so um, we've got that in comfort setting. Anyway, let's see what happens. So first of all, we're gonna go up this slope. It should be quite easy. Just like going up a badly rutted road. It's quite funny just looking at the suspension travel of the Mercedes. Oh, you got a bit of trouble there. Now, how's this gonna do? I'm just gonna crawl up nice and steady. Just no hassle, no bottle, oh, bit bottoming outage-ness, even though I've got my air suspension fully maxed up. That was quite easy. Now we've got to go down a little bit more of an extreme slope. There goes the BMW first. We're gonna get some wheel in the air action. Whoa, yeah! That BMW looks so cool. I think the Mercedes is doing it slightly better though. Oh, here we go. This is quite scary. I don't want to damage my luxury limousine. Oh, just easy on the brakes. Oh, it's really nicely done. Oh. Oh. Oh, come on. Oh, it's the ground clearance again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> But not too bad. That's the beauty of a car that costs a thousand pounds. I've only done cosmetic damage to it, only minor on the sill, so I don't care. It was comfy, it did it. Why spend more? Let's see what Graham thought. I think it's a win for this, gotta be, come on. Okay, I was quite impressed with this. So was I. That's why it won. Yes! <laughs> okay. Okay. Merc second. Yeah. Okay, BMW again rounding out everywhere. So three points to the Lexus, two for the Mercedes, one for the BMW, and that means nine points in total for the Lexus, eight points for the Mercedes, and seven for the BMW. Sorry, BMW fanboys. Finally, I've jumped into the Mercedes, and I've just noticed that it's got a horribly smashed windscreen, but I can still see it, and it's rather comfortable in here otherwise. Now, in this next challenge, we're gonna drive down this side slope, and we'll see how well they can keep on moving without sliding or possibly rolling over. Then we're gonna drive around and drive up another side slope to see how well they can actually keep on moving when there will be wheels off the ground. Let's do this. So, Lexus heading in there first. Oh my God, already the rear wheel is so high in the air. That looks pretty frightening. Oh, no way. Did it though? I'm impressed with that Lexus off-road. 
the BMW doesn't have the ground clearance of the Lexus, what's going to happen to it? Oh, wheels already nice and high in the air. He's controlling that nicely. Let's see how we can do with this Mercedes. Come on, Mercedes, the best or nothing. Oh yeah, I can feel the back wheel is off the ground now. Nice, it's easy. Get more this way. Oh, oh, oh yes. Yeah, in some ways this is better than a tall vehicle because my centre of gravity is low, so I'm less likely to tip over. Oh, don't, don't ground down, don't, 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 don't. Oh, easy, 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 easy. Come on, you're gonna have to move. You're gonna have to move from there. Come on, come on, keep moving. Come on. Is there a problem with the BMW? Has it just died? It has indeed. I'm trying to restart it, but no luck so far. Oh, it's going again. Uh, was it the fuel just sloshed around and it just um, had an issue? I, I can give you a Porsche anyway. There we go. There we are. That's it. Right, let's go on to the next stage of this challenge. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that to happen. This is going to be interesting. See how well they go up compared to how they went down. Oh, that Lexus did a good job of getting up there. I think it's going to need a bit of momentum, so I'm going to hold back. BMW. <laughs> BMW going sideways like a BMW should. How's the Mercedes going to do? Bit of momentum. Oh, you bugger! <laughs> well, apart from me bottoming out, it went up there okay. But as I've already said before, bottoming out doesn't matter as long as you don't do any serious damage. Let's find out what the results are if I can find the window switch in this Mercedes. The window switch. Where are you, window switch? Where are you? One eternity later. I don't know where, oh, there it is. Down there. <laughs> so, Graham, what do you think of that? Are we including the uh, stall out? Well, yeah, you do, because the BMW, um, when it was on its side, obviously had a fuel issue, didn't had it? Issues. So, BMW last. Merc first. Yes! <laughs> Go on. Lexus second. Okay, so three points to the Mercedes, two to the Lexus, and one to the BMW. That means that the total scores are 11 points for the Mercedes, 11 for the Lexus, and just eight for the BMW. Now we come to the very last challenge. All we've got to do is go down this steep slope, but it's very rutted, and this could kill these cars. Hmm. <laughs> Let's do it. There goes the Lexus heading into the abyss. Oh my God, <laughs> this is a little bit scary. Oh my gosh, the way that BMW went down there. Oh, I've bombed out already, bugger. Oh my gosh, that looks a bit intense. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, gravity's just doing its thing. Off-roading is super easy, look at this. Oh, crike. Oh my god. You can't park this, huh? Oh. oh, the BMW is stuck a bit. Let's give him a bit of a push. Oh no, we're both stuck. Bugger it. Yeah, he's stuck. Okay, let's give him more of a shunt. Come on. God, I didn't like that. I'm trying my best here. I'm trying to help. A fellow jump car. Oh, there we go. There we go. Come on. I know I'm buggered. Oh, you save someone and you kill yourself. No. Oh, I'm really struggling now. Right, come on. I need a tow. This is a good opportunity for me to tell you that if you're thinking about selling your current car, you can do it through CarWow. All you have to do is upload some photos, brief description, and our dealers will bid on your car to make sure you get a great price for it. Now, if you click on the pop-out banner up there, I'll follow the link in the description below, you can go to that now. Alternatively, you can just do it at a later date. Just simply Google, help me CarWow, and we will help you, just like Graham's helping me now. So here we go. Free me, Graham, free me. freedom but you know what oh 
That was not my fault. I blame the BMW entirely. So I want another shot at that. Oh, wait a minute. I've got a warning thing on the dash saying the suspension is too low. Stop the vehicle. Let me just stop it, see if we can reset it. Let's start again. Go on. It won't, it won't start. Ah! The Mercedes died saving the BMW. At least the window works. Graham, Graham. I don't know what it is, but this car, I, I stopped it and I tried to restart it and it just won't start again. What does that mean? This gets a, does not finish. Does not finish. So there's no points for the Mercedes, which is a shame because it did all right, didn't it? Yeah, yeah. Don't blow me BMW. Okay, so that means, obviously, which, which car won? The Lexus, right? Lexus won. So Lexus won, three points to Lexus, then BMW second. So that gets two points, this gets nothing. So overall then, the Lexus wins. It got 14 points in total. Next was this dead Mercedes with 11 points. And finally, in last place, the BMW with 10 points. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like, click on those windows there for some more videos. And if you click on that box there, you can get a car way to sell your car, upload photos, give a brief description, and our dealers will bid on your car. Just make sure it's in better condition than this poor Mercedes. Thanks for watching.